My name is Jackie Levine. I'm the coordinator of regional literacy and teacher center services at PNW BOCES in New York. I'm also a doctoral student at Manhattanville College, and I am researching executive function in teachers. We talk a lot about executive function in children and how we can support executive skills in the classrooms, but we don't often talk about the adults and what happens when you're on your own and adulting. When you're on your own as an adult, it's kind of assumed you know what to do. It's kind of assumed you know how to plan your day and organize your time. But not everyone is created equally with equal skills, and it takes time to develop those skills. Research also shows that the brain develops slower for some folks, and sometimes your prefrontal cortex is not developed into your 30s. So for some people, that means that they're still struggling to really fine tune those skills. The problem in education is that those skills are required at a very high level in order to do all of the things that a teacher does really well, masterfully. And we always want to see a teacher who is able to execute all of the things that happen in a classroom with high effectiveness. The problem is, if you struggle with any of those areas, you may not be the highly effective teacher that you aim to be, especially according to some assessments like the Danielson framework. Those frameworks are sometimes assessing for your executive skills while not necessarily assessing for your intent or how you are as a teacher in building your relationships with students. So while someone may have strengths at relationship building with students, they may not have the best planning or organizational skills, and those need to be developed. One of the goals of my research down the line is to be able to provide colleges with a framework for providing teacher preparatory programs that develop executive skills. And I think it would be really helpful if our schools gave our teachers time, such as residency programs, to be able to watch master teachers at, uh, at work and see them really execute good lesson plans, manage classrooms, manage routines. If you don't have routine building or goal setting in your day-to-day -day life, then you're going to struggle with that in a setting like the classroom, where you're working with a number of people who don't have executive skills already because they're young and haven't formed them yet. So I think that it is in our best interest to start looking at teacher preparation in terms of executive skill building, because so much of that is required in the execution of really good teaching. One of the other things I hope to do, and this is a moonshot project, is to be able to find clerical support for teachers, so that teachers can do less of the planning and organizing and detail-oriented tasks of responding to every email from parents or things that they have to do during the day that take their time away from instruction. What we really want is our teachers to focus on instruction and solid lesson planning and routine building and relationship building with their children. And they can't always do that if they have to make sure mom knows Johnny forgot to bring his snow pants in and then therefore can't go out to recess. Those are a lot of things to manage and also managing all the parent meetings and conferences that need to take place as well as the other clerical duties of the day. So it would be really important to be able to talk about teachers in terms of what they really need to do to be successful in the classroom and what we can take off their plates so that their executive function is less inhibited. Uh, we do know that stress, trauma, poverty, all of these things impact your ability to have strong executive skills. Your executive skills diminish the more stress you have, um, whether you're not sleeping or whether you uh, experience a trauma at home or some kind of crisis in your family. So we all need to take those things into consideration too when we talk about the well-being of our teachers and what they need to focus on in the classroom as opposed to what they don't.